What's happening, y'all? It's your boy Zell, and welcome back to Get Right or Get Wrong. All right, hit y'all with another update. So with the TDR situation, I finally got caught up to the front. You know, they hit me up in the Slack, like, hey, you doing? Blah, 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 blah. Could you come to the front where we could discuss the TDR situation? So in my mind, I'm like, man, I thought this situation was over with. You know what I'm saying? Like, all right, I can't TDR for two weeks, blah, blah, blah. And I probably go to order the class. So I come up, my two managers got these big smiles on their face. Me, I can read through all that type of shit. Like, nah, y'all got me up here for something. <laughs> I'm like, y'all got me up here for something. Well, you know, it ain't up to us. See, you know, it ain't, it ain't our say so, blah, blah, blah. And we want to fight for you so bad not to get this right up. I'm like, all right, whatever, you know. So I'm not tripping about it. <clears throat> but they said they had read the paper pretty much. It's pretty much saying I did TDR a truck out. Period. It's not about I took a, a TDR truck out the wrong way, TDR a truck out fast enough. It said I didn't TDR that shit out at all. When I know for a fact, I did. I don't walk away from a light unless it's red. That means it's TDR'd out. So I'm looking like in my mind like, I know I did. And the crazy part is the safety dude showed me the video. He showed me the video on his laptop. I don't, you know, I'm not going to say his name and shit because I know the safety people ain't supposed to do that. You feel what I'm saying? So he showed me. He said, everything was good here, here. But right here, I don't know what happened. And I'm like, the light red. He's like, I know, but um, I don't know. It's beyond me. So I guess he's talking about his bosses and the higher ups, I guess, doing their investigation. But um, I guess the situation popped off. On a Wednesday, but I didn't get called out or called out about it until Friday. So I guess I got another week until I guess I can go to the class or TDR again. I don't know. From my understanding, I'm supposed to get I'm supposed to go to another class. So I tell my managers like, yo, so what I'm supposed to do? Do I ask them to TDR before that that, that second week up? They were like, Yeah, definitely do that. Don't TDR. If somebody in the department got a problem with it. You tell them they got to talk to us because it's a fact you can't TDR and we don't want you to get fired because we like you. I'm like, mm, I like y'all too, but I don't like what's going on in the department. Y'all got to get this shit together. But um, yeah, that's pretty much just what it is. They pretty much say I ain't TDR'd out. And I got to write up. Um, I, I, it used to be 30 days, but I think it's up to a year at this point. But I don't really give a fuck because I don't think I'm going to be there <laughs> in another year. Like as soon as I knock these little hours out, I'm out of there. You know what I'm saying? Or even if even if I do transfer to the yard to drive the trucks, that write up won't mean shit to me. You feel what I'm saying? And, and I don't know because they said you you have a write up, you really can't transfer. So I don't know. I, I'm gonna have to really get more information on how that's about to pop off. Because I was talking to a trucker today, he was like, "Man, you know what? I don't know who told you that." Because I, I was always told when you get your CDL. And you fresh, it's hard to get a, a gig. Somebody said that's bullshit. They like to catch people while they still new, for they can teach you. Versus a person coming in like, oh, you know what I'm doing? Oh, you don't need to tell me. They will rather catch you while you new, so they can teach you the way that they want you to operate. So I'm looking like, cool. He said, trust me, bro. It ain't no thing. Matter of fact, my shit just came today. Yes, sir. Your boy just got his motherfucking, what you call this, learner permit came in the mail today. So, happy about that. Getting shit done. We're not playing. I'm telling y'all, I'm not one of those people who talk the talk. I walk the walk. You know what I'm saying? I'm not really a talker. I mean, I, I tell y'all, but i always been like that when I grew up, when I was growing up. If I say I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it. And not trying to sound hard, but it, it was like that back in middle school. High school, the street, whatever. If I say I'm going to knock you the fuck out when I see you, I don't know why people thought I used to be playing. Like, you do know when I see you what's on site. Ain't no talking. Just take your jacket off and you already know what time it is. But it's the same thing in anything in life. If I say I'm about to quit this job, it's a process, I'm about to do it. If I say I'm about to transfer, I'm about to transfer. I'm not with all that just talking to talk. And I'm doing this to motivate y'all in case y'all want to do something. If I can do this shit, y'all can do this, man. Even this YouTube shit, you know what I'm saying? Salute to a lot of people that's, you know, asking me for help to set their shit up. I told y'all, I'll send y'all the apps. I'll talk you through it, how to edit it, how to clip it, because I'm telling you, so many people pay 
to do the YouTube. I mean, now granted, it'd be more crispy and more colorful and more animated. I, I ain't with all that. I'm gonna give y'all my intro, then we go get to get to the point. You feel what I'm saying? That's how I operate, you know. Shit, uh, what's the one dude that got kicked off of YouTube recently? I think his name was Hassan Campbell. Homie was doing numbers. He ain't had no fancy thumbnails. He ain't had no intro. He just sat there and kept it real with your ass, like I do. You feel what I'm saying? So, like I said, my goal is still to get a thousand subscribers before like June. So, help your boy out. Tell a friend, tell a boyfriend, tell a girlfriend, tell every Amazonian about your boy. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Tell them I do a video request. I got you. Speaking of video requests, I don't have one, but salute to Lulu. She sent me something that's very fucking disturbing. It's like the, the bravery on some of these people nowadays at the worst spot is ridiculous. Where the hell did I put that phone on there? Because, yeah, I'm glad I was talking about that. And that just crossed my mind because I had to turn this damn camera off and not even show y'all that shit. But y'all need to see this. If I can find my phone. That's how I know I'm not a female. Females keep their phones by them all the time. I don't. Man, why you answer the phone? Like, nigga, I ain't attached to that shit. Damn. I was just talking to my sister about my niece. I don't know where the hell I put that phone in there. But anyways, it was pretty much a video of some people doing some adult shit, man. It's like, they... Wasn't even trying to like hide it. Damn, I'm dropping anything out my vest. What the fuck is going on? I know y'all like, what the hell are you doing? Trust me, I'm, I'm looking for my phone, y'all. About to show you this video. I don't know if I'm going to edit or cut this out or if I just have to hear all this background and stuff. But y'all will be fine. I ain't that serious. I got to be tracing my steps. Okay, I'll go over here. I came over here. Oh, there it is. I must say, I knew I was setting up my goddamn camera and I forgot where I put it. All right. But yeah, some of y'all is like savage. I already know y'all be smashing in the cars with the tinted windows or if you park at the other end. Like, that's another thing that's a dead giveaway. You think you'd be a sneaky, like, if all the cars is here and you just this little bitty Hot Wheels matchback, match, match, what was it called? Matchbox car. If you there and this is a whole little field here and you down there, everybody going to automatically think, what the fuck that car doing down there? The police going to ride by like, why you, would you special? Would you can't be by everybody else? They know you doing something weird in that car. Trust me. That's why I love fucking be getting blew down on. Plenty of people have been caught in those cars doing some weird shit. So let me find Lulu's. Message out there, I guess. Y'all gotta see this shit. I wonder if YouTube gonna leave, like flag this video. We gonna find out, I guess. The shit I do for my peoples, man. Boy, god damn it, get to the point. Time for a new phone. I don't know if y'all seen, I'm going to play it again. Got a bench over. <sighs> Come on, man. And you know, I, <laughs> I'm like, it, it, it's savage. Because there's another video actually in Cleveland, Ohio. I wish I could find that video. That it was a couple from McDonald's. Fucking on top of this hill. Now the hill is here. The traffic is here. You cannot, you can't not see those people. All you gotta do is look to your left. You see them on the hill getting it in. I'm like, you probably got cum and all types of shit on a burger and fries. Like people just brave nowadays. And then people will be like, man, you know what I'm saying? Some people just don't care. I'm like, it's not that they don't care. If you are smashing, I guess I'm gonna do this for both genders. If a chick want to smash you in a car, bro, she got to do that, all. You can't go to her house? She got to do. Females, if you can't go to that dude house, he got a woman. And most of the time, these people are aware of that, so they know they got to get out in the car. You can't, you know, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, people be doing some fried shit at my job, lying to say they at work 
or you know to a sibling today they should never get other mean why they took a vacation day off so they and they mind they think they gone for 10 hours they really have somewhere at the telly or whatever but i mean that's the smart way to do it but nah man people really die they don't care they don't care if you smash a chick in the back seat of a car bruh that chick is for everybody i'm gonna you know right now like it is what it is they 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 do it with anybody you ain't the first don't feel special but Y'all got to chill out, bro, because now what happens if this person shows somebody at HR? We don't know what type of person we got going on. Maybe he's just a TikToker or a, a funny person. or But if he zoomed in on their face, like, let me let y'all know I got y'all blackmail. So I need, like, every time y'all get paid, I need at least about 100 of that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he can do some projects like that. Well, it's over. I'm about to ruin your career. Be careful, man. Don't do dumb shit like this. But yeah, man, I don't want to talk y'all ear off. I wanted to show y'all that and just pretty much let y'all know what happened with the TDR situation, the update. Pretty much got, I got rolled up. But I'm going to ask tomorrow how long does the write-up last. No, no, we'll figure it out. So don't do what I do, which I don't know what I did. <laughs> just make, make sure, make sure. If you feel like something wrong, call safety over there. I'm talking to my people with TDR shit, uh, non-inventory, well, anywhere, because you be shipped out, could be... TDR. TDR can go from one area all the way down. Just make sure you moving right. Look around. Watch your surroundings. If you think you're doing something wrong, call somebody. Don't get rolled up, man. So like, share, and subscribe. Salute to a new subscriber. I noticed my number went up. Um, yeah, man, that's my goal. Hit this, hit this thousand, man. Let's let's, let's do this. Make sure y'all share the video for sure. Shout out to Bernie because she, like I said, she be sharing my videos a lot of shit too. Y'all gotta y'all gotta get my like my girl Bernie, man. Start sharing his joint. For your boy. You know what I'm saying? I would I, I would appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? It means a lot to a nigga. It's free. Don't cost no money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But uh, I'll catch y'all later. Be safe. Like I said, it's hot outside. Suns out, guns out, and buns out. So watch your back. Watch yourself. Don't watch no fights. Don't record shit. Get low when you hear guns. Duck. Get the fuck out the scene. Catch y'all later.